एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ वायर्ड वॉइसेस फॉर दोज हु आर जॉइनिंग अस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वायर्ड वॉइसेस इज अ पॉडकास्ट वेयर वी ट्राई टू शेयर इंस्पिरेशनल स्टोरीज फ्रॉम अवर लर्नर्स एंड एज़ वेल एज़ अवर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स एंड टुडे वी हैव अनदर इनक्रेडिबल स्टोरी वेयर इन बायोटेक इज व्हाट शी हैड थॉट ऑफ बट हैज नाउ पिविटेड टू डेटा साइंस हाय आदिति हाउ आर यू हाय सोमिली आई एम डूइंग गुड हाउ आर यू very well very well so aditi i'm sure uh, our listeners will be curious to know how did you sort of uh, a first of course uh, first of um, first of all yeah of course who aditi is and why did aditi uh, pivot from biotech to data science so i started off as a person who was very much interested in the field of biology microscopes and labs and healthcare was something that fascinated me since the beginning of school i would say um and i always had a knack at computers i wanted to always see if i could link the two somewhere but uh, as i grew up i thought that i am much more of a researcher and i i really went for it i i skipped medical and engineering and went towards research thinking where i ask questions i will get answers <laughs> but uh, i would say uh, in my masters that was a changing point i was exposed to a lot of the business side of science and i had the opportunity to go to uh, summer schools in france and that is where i really understood the business side of science you know like how we can actually practically see the effect and impact of science on society and that was something that uh, felt like a calling towards uh, i felt a calling towards and i thought that's where i should go towards uh, but i continued i would say in, in into academic research uh, after a while i moved into industrial research not not so long ago i was into industrial research and i would say hero wide came at the right time at the right place <laughs> so uh, i i knew i wanted to get into data science but i didn't know um, exactly what the path would be you know what would be the starting point i did not get that push but at, at some points i i suddenly saw it on linkedin i think as far as i remember um, so i thought that this is something i should give it a try and and here i am <laughs> i finished the course so aditi now, do you think do you think as on date a lot of people say if you want to say one out of 10 must have heard of data science and they fully know what data science is do you think that's the case today at least in india yes. i would i would say so because uh, with the people i'm interacting now uh, on an everyday basis i would say uh, most of my junior colleagues are very well aware of what is data science and okay. most of them are already pursuing many courses related to it and i would say it's a requirement for the current industry setting when there's a lot of data uh, coming into picture it's not like how it used to be before you know just running on intuition is not going to help you you need mm-hmm. intuition and you need the numbers you need the facts so that is where i would say data science and data analytics comes into picture so uh, aditi with that regard do you think that you know uh, it was not always very easy for you to convince parents maybe to you know say that uh, you know i i have been doing something and now want to do something else um in my case <laughs> it would be um, i mean my parents have been really supportive throughout my uh what can i say my whims and fancies <laughs> they have been really supportive throughout my career um i i think they're one of my one of the most important well wishes that i have in my life i mean i'm lucky that way i'm blessed that way um but i'm sure they had their doubts at some points you know does she know what she's doing <laughs> but um they decided to have faith in what i'm doing so that that actually established a good confident foundation for me you know to mm. go towards what i want and uh, so here i am i would say they have played a really important role so while data science from what i'm understanding was not always a part of the plan and you pivoted and it was more of a calling for you um yeah. do you do you think 
uh in india data science is going to be one of the top uh domains in the next 5 to 10 years ah uh, yes of course i would say yes 100% there's no uh there's no denying it <laughs> i mean a country with a huge population itself means there would, there's going to be a lot of data lying around um and i would say that we should give uh, the industries in india a chance you know uh, i see a lot of uh, my colleagues and also my junior colleagues moving abroad i mean of course there are chances abroad i'm not denying it yeah but uh, with the potential that the Indo- indian industries have considering that we are the top performers in many sectors i think uh, we can be a global you know top performer if we actually you know if we what can i say we bring in data science into the picture for almost all the industrial sectors i think it would really push india towards a different level a different zone absolutely and, absolutely yeah, because, because we recently, when it comes fact, to numbers i think that speaks volumes right and we fact, know we did a research did. i'm not very sure if you had the time to sort of read through through it but we did, at hero I did, we also did a research very recently for working professionals and uh, data science and ai happen to be uh, the top not only the top preferred but also people recognize it recognizing them as the future of you know uh, uh, india in the next 5 to 6 years most high paying jobs and what not so very well said and so aditi do you think that even today it's still difficult for youngsters to uh, do the experiment the, the kind of experiment that may just sort of help them land on better jobs or better opportunities at large do you think that you know there are cert- we are still somewhere between experimentation and following very conventional job roles like you know uh, parents used to push push people to either become engineers doctors or uh, maybe lawyers in the past and we have to an extent we've come out of it do you think that there is also still uh scope for for the generations above to realize that there are much more that much there's much more that we can do today so i um so what i realized was during one of our uh, connects that we had at hero world uh, i met a lot of senior colleagues and also people who are younger to me uh, my junior colleagues and also in the same batch we were in the same batch as well we had a mixed set of batches right so i understood that uh, mm, what can i say the older generation who are ready to take risks and move forward they they really jump they jump levels if they actually upskill uh because they have the domain knowledge and the industry yeah. is looking out for those kind of people and i saw a few of my colleagues they i think they had one or two skills that they were really really uh i would say that was their power points um uh, in their cv i think that would be the thing that would shine out apart from their domain and they got immediately recruited as far as i remember and i was surprised like it's is it just one skill that is okay is what i thought mm. at that point uh <laughs> but i i would say um, this uh, field is very um, what can i say it's ever changing right Evolving. it moves according Much, to the need yeah. of the industry yeah so that's right if the if the uh, older generation is uh, of course they are much more in touch with the industry so they actually know what the industry that's wants right. so if they are ready to take the risk and move towards something that they are confident in i think it would make a lot of difference to them financially uh, also career wise and also maybe a little bit of what can i say in terms of individuality because they get their they get to make their own name and yeah. the impact that they have is going to be very very different in terms of Thank my you. junior colleagues and my generation what i would say is where we have um, either minimum to mid level of uh, intermediate level of experience uh, we have the right amount of uh, touch in the industry <laughs> and we have uh, a good idea of um, what can i say we have that we still have that unmolded mind yeah it's still it's still there you know like there's no set path uh, yet yeah. so we can become the path breakers 
that's uh, right that's so our ideas right. that come out of our naivete comes into something that can change the industry is what i feel Absolutely. i mean that's what i'm experiencing even now the company that i work for uh i understand that whatever ideas i come up with is something that many a times that the cxo level has not thought of and yeah. sometimes it leaves me feeling like okay so what i think is not um it is it's not something naive but it it is actually going to change the way people think absolutely so it, absolutely right. yeah. so aditi while we are closing this we wanted one line that you'd want to sort of share for those who contemplate uh, about upskilling every day but they do not so that one message that you'd want to sort of send out to those who are thinking about upskilling but are aren't able to do it uh, uh what can i say i cannot steal copyright liners but uh, uh what mountain dew said dar ke aage jeete is 100% <laughs> true <laughs> if you are really scared of it and you think it's really risky i would say take that calculated risk and just jump into it because once you do- jump into the pool you will how to survive so you will swim and you will come out stronger than before so very well said aditi i think that that is by far the best kind of uh you know word of advice that one could sort of send out to the world to the universe thank you so much i had a lovely time talking to you today i'm sure our listeners going to going to have a lovely time listening to this and uh, we shall connect very soon for more stories like this uh with you aditi Sure thank you so much thank you bye bye